painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations and welcome to the No Bra Zone number three and a half. <laughs> yes, a half. We're not 100% done yet here. All my cabinets are in the floor, the painting, the trim work here in the new studio, but I'm going to need to wait about um, seven to nine days for my marble countertops. They came and did the template the other day, but uh, takes a little bit of time for them to cut out the sink and all that kind of good stuff but uh, I'm excited I'm anxious but I'm also grateful to just uh, just be in here and I promise that I will give you a tour once I've gotten everything looking the way that I want it to um, We'll be having like a ribbon cutting ceremony. I've got some good, good artist friends that are coming down to spend three and four days with me and I'm, uh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. We're working on a reused canvas today. I don't know what size this is, an eight by 10, eight by 12, I don't know. This was one of the very first blooms that I ever did and um, you know, if you don't absolutely love it, I paint over it. And I don't absolutely love this, but I learned from doing it. And um, what I've been doing is I've been organizing and cleaning stuff. And I got a lot of bottles of things where there's just a little of this or a little of that, a bunch of my TCP containers that I use for slot buckets. And so I figured let's use up some of this stuff. So what we have in here is we have, we're kind of experimenting a little bit today. We've got uh, deco art satin enamel in the pure white. That's right here. And that is uh, mixed with a little bit of artist loft white because this was just artist loft white. I added the satin enamel to it. And our pouring medium, I'm getting a little cray cray with that. Um, I got these great containers from Fluid Art Co. And I absolutely love them. I love them because they snap on. Each container, each squeeze bottle comes with um, two caps. One for a, um, a skinny flow and one for a big flow. And they have these, let me push that down. They have... Um, these wonderful measuring numbers on the side, it goes to uh, 16 fluid ounces. And I've decided to just, I used to pre-mix my pouring medium, my Floetrol and my uh, Liquitex PM, and then a squirt of GAC 800 in my paints. But every technique that you do kind of takes a little bit of a different pouring medium. So I keep my pouring mediums in these bottles as well. I've got GAC 800 in it. I've got uh, Liquitex pouring medium in it, and I have one over there with Floetrol, but we're not using any Floetrol. So all of these paints today got a paint, probably about a half an ounce, a squeeze of GAC 800, a squeeze of Liquitex pouring medium, and a squeeze of the Amsterdam pouring medium. I have about six bottles of this and um, I'm trying to use them up. So, squeeze of, squeeze of GAC 800, squeeze of Liquitex pouring medium, and a squeeze of Amsterdam pouring medium. Um, in all of our paints but one, this one right here, my white is, what is this white? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I've been on my hands and knees scrubbing floors and scraping windows today, so I'm a little uh, I'm a little bit foggy. This is Amsterdam Titanium White and that is mixed with a little bit of the Aussie Floetrol. We've got one part paint to three parts of the Aussie Floetrol. So we're just getting a little creative here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna put some paint down. I'm gonna blow it out. I'm gonna add some of the Aussie Floetrol, see if we get some lacy. I might do a little bit of swiping, but uh, this is my first little painting in my, my adorable little art studio, guys, and I'm excited. Oh, oh, our colors. Let's talk about those before I uh, get busy here. We're getting our blues on. We're getting our yummy blues on. This right here is DecoArt Americana. 
and that is their winter blue. I love it. It's just got this beautiful blue-gray hue to it. A very, very nice color. Bigger bottles, Deco Art. We need bigger bottles. <laughs> Please. Right here, which one is that? That is... Yep, that is Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and that is their Sky Blue Topaz. Bigger bottles, please, Deco Art. Right here. Ooh, this is yummy goodness. Let me show it to you. I hope the lighting in here is okay. I have so many windows, but they're high windows. It, le it leaves a lot, it lets a lot of light in but I'm afraid of um, kind of glare and whatnot. That right there is yummy goodness. This little piggy, and that is their lakeside. Now this was mixed just a little bit different. I put a scoop of the pigment in the cup, then I doused it, it with Josonia Gloss Varnish, about one part pigment, one part Josonia Gloss Varnish. Stirred it up to make a nice paste, and then I added the pouring mediums we talked about earlier. Squeeze of GAC 800, squeeze of Liquitex pouring medium, a squeeze of Amsterdam pouring medium, and some water. These two Deco Art paints took a bit of water. This right here is Folk Art Treasure Gold, and that is their blue quartz. That took just a little bit of water as well. The titanium white got no water, and the piggy got no water. And we got a little bit of water in our Satin Enamel Artist Loft White Base Coat Color. So we're kind of thin. We're probably going to get some pearls, um, at least... That's what I assume. So, wish me luck, guys. This is exciting for me, my very first painting, so I'm hoping that it is worthy. Thanks for being here, guys. I haven't painted in about seven or eight days, and I've been going crazy, and it uh, feels good to be in here. It feels good to be spending some time with y'all. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy.